right. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja, and I hope that if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, that you're able to hear me because, oh, look, finally got started. Okay. Uh, I am coming on today because, quite frankly, people need a, a new way of creating income. That's as simple as that. And there is something that is so crazy easy to do and also crazy easy not to do something that you can do from your phone from your laptop and that's the world of trading now is there a risk in trading sure but there's risk in everything getting trying to look for a new job asking someone on a date um getting a new dog right there's there's risks in everything but i wanted to share a tip with you today to help you minimize your risk and maximize your results by learning how to make make your life a little bit easier. So um, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some, some things to think about when you're creating your trading plan. So what is a trading plan? A trading plan is something that you create based off of what you're willing to do, how long you're willing to do it, uh, and you know um, answers to questions you've already asked yourself so that you're not, so that way you're not frazzled when the time comes to make a decision. So I'm going to be reading from some of my notes that I've taken, like, lots and lots and lots and lots of notes um i leverage a an incredible educational and mentoring mentorship program um and, and this is just i think like this the tip of the cake so i wanted to touch on this trading plan because it'll really help you get started and move forward with your trading so when you're creating your trading plan you have to understand what risk management is and if you don't know what risk management is please say risk down below or send me a message and I'll be sure to um, get uh, the training that I've already created on what is your risk management. Um, but first question I have in here is what is your why? Why do you want to trade? Why is it that you want to potentially create additional income on the side? Why is it that you want to be able to trade from anywhere in the world? Why, you know, ask yourself this the questions why? What is it that you're doing this for? What is it that's going to keep you going uh, when when times are tough, when it's not going your way, when you, you know, there, there's going to be those times, right? That's, that's life. That's learning a new skill set. And that's what this is. This is a skill set, in my personal opinion, um, that allows you to be, to potentially create your dream life. Uh, and it's something that, in, in my opinion, fully embodies the parable that when you give a person a fish, they eat for a day. But if you teach a person to fish, their family eats for generations. This is a skill set that I think, I feel embodies that. So, what is your why? Why are you doing this? Um, why do you want to win? Uh, the second question is, what type of trader are you? Are you a position trader? Are you a swing trader? Interday trader? Day trader? Scalper? What kind of trader are you? What is your trading style? This is going to be really important, uh, especially because um, if you know you can only spend 15 minutes a day, you're likely either going to either want to get really, really good at scalping or uh, long-term trading because you're not looking at the charts all day. You don't want to be worried about what's going on, right? Um, so knowing what type of trader you want to be is going to be really important. If you're not sure what the different types of traders are, I have a five-day FREE training. Um, so just put the number five down below if you want that. Okay, next question. What type of trading strategies do you prefer? Fundamental, technical, or both? I just did a training on this already. So go look at my other videos and that should be should be there. Uh, what will your pre-trading routine be? So when you're trading, you will, you will learn that it is all about emotions. So what is your routine gonna be beforehand? Are you gonna meditate? Are you gonna read? Are you gonna look at news? What type of mindset are you going to be putting yourself in before you trade? So that's that's where your what your pre-trading routine is going to be. Are you going to work out, right? Yoga, get some get some flexibility. Um, uh, what are you going to do to help make sure that you uh, are in a quiet space so you can focus, right? Okay. So next question: What sessions do you trade? So if you are unwilling to be up at 2 a.m. your time for maybe the London. Uh, session, you have to realize that certain things may not go as quickly as you'd like, but that doesn't matter how fast it is. What so matters is your consistency and making sure that you are learning and improving your skill set, right? So uh, what sessions do you trade, right? You got to figure that out. Next question. What specific times do you like to trade? This 
is also part of the what sessions do you trade, right? Because if you're going to be in a specific session, knowing how that session works, because each session is different, and uh, then you also have to know what hours in that session you are able and willing to trade. Next question, before entering a trade, what is your criteria for getting in? So you can't just really nilly just, you know, do stuff. You have to have certain checkbox that say, hey, if I do A, B, and C, but not D, uh, then this is a bad trade and I'm out. Or maybe your risk tolerance is, hey, if four out of five are checked, then I can get in, right? What is your trading strategy? And what, what's, what criteria are you looking for to get in? Next question, how many pips do you want out of each trade? Five pips, if you're scalping, 10? 20, are you in a long-term trade? So it's gonna be, you're pulling on 150 pips, right? You've gotta know. Um, and you also have to make sure that you're not gonna be greedy because if you get what you what you got for, or, or we're, we're hoping for, then get out, let yourself rest. You know, you, there's a, um, I can't remember off the top of my head right, what it is right now, but there's basically a, um, a door dude, a bouncer in your brain uh, that your RAS, your reticular activation system, I believe that's what that is, um, your RAS system, and if you, it, 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 let's just say that you don't want to do it all day. Uh, it's better for your brain if you don't do it all day. So that's another video for another time. All right, so how many pips do you want to, want to trade? Uh, don't be greedy. Um, don't try and stay in too long because maybe it went to the, the wrong direction and uh, you are freaking out going, oh, it'll turn around, it'll turn around, it'll turn around. It might not turn around, I'm sorry to tell you. All right, so next question. How many pips do you want on average per week uh, eventually? Right, so no, so you have to know, like let's say, let's say that you wanna, wanna get um, 20 pips a day and at uh, 100 pips a week, right? So if you know then that you got 80 pips on day one and 20 pips, on, uh, 10 pips on day two, and then maybe you lost some pips on day three, well, you, if you know where you want to be, right, how many pips you want to earn in the week, then you can make better decisions on how many more trades you need in the week, when are you going to take off so that you can learn how to improve your skill set, uh, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So you also want to know when to raise it, right? If you are consistently getting 100 pips a week, do you want to do you want to increase that? You know, right? Make that decision for yourself. Uh, next question: What percent of accounts? And we only have we have uh, we have some more. So I'm going to do a part two on the next video. So um, we're going to end with this one though. So what percent of your account are you willing to risk on one trade? So it's really really wise that you don't do 5% a trade or 10% a trade or more. This is really, um, really risky is what it is. So it would be wise. It would be wise. Um, I'll answer that question in a second. It would be wise uh, to make sure that your trades are only one to 3% of your account. Um, I've already done, I've done a training on this already. Um, I won't deep dive into it, but you want to make sure that you do that because one, let's say that you have a whole slew of ones uh, of trades that you've made that aren't quite the, the way that you thought they were going and they closed in the, in the red or in the negative, right? Um, y if you did a lot of those, let's say, you know, let's say you did 10 of those, right? And they were 10 all negative trades. Well, then you've lost, if, if it were 1%, then you lost actually more than 10% because it's 1% each time that you take a trade out. So at the time that you of your balance, you take 1% out, right? If you took more out at the same time, it would be the same 1%, but let's say it grew and shrunk, right? You have trades closing. Uh, so it's really hard to say that you only lost 10%. More than likely, you would lose more. So it's better to have less risk per trade and do more trades than to have less trades and put a whole lot of risk in uh, I mean, it's potential high risk, high reward, but I myself am more and more moderate trader in that. So this was the end of part one. Thank you for joining me today. I do see I have a question. Uh, I hope this is how I pronounce your name, Khalid. Uh, Khalid is asking, which broker is the best? So I'm in America and it is illegal for me to give recommendations like that because I'm not a licensed financial advisor, as you may have noticed from this spending thing here. Um, I could probably tell you which ones I use. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, so 
I put it, I put, I put the people that I use, or I'm going to put the people that I use in my group. Um, but I'm also going to say, Hey, here's some other ones that I know of, which is not many. Cause I only use like one or two. Um, so I would highly suggest that if you are looking for the best broker, find out what the best broker means to you. Is it that they have low spread? Is it that they have less fees? Is it that they allow you to, to do Bitcoin and crypto? So determine what you're looking for as a broker. And then I would suggest Googling it. Um, I'll see about creating some training from the different brokers um, so I can give pros and cons from my opinion. Um, I'll put that as, a, as something to to um, bring later, but I would say do your research, find out what's best for what you consider is a good broker, um, and then make a decision from there. So that looks like the, that was the only question. Um, like I said, I still have several more questions to help you with your trading plan, um, but I do want to be respectful of your time. So I'm going to be doing a part two on the next time I do one of these videos. So if you'd like to be sure that you um, are alerted to the next one, there should be a button below, above or below this video for you to subscribe. Make sure that your notifications are turned on and all that good stuff. Uh, as I said, I do have a group that you are welcome to join. It should be linked somewhere above below this video. And if you have any questions or want to find out more about that educational platform that I shared about, please reach out, either leave a note below or send me a private message and we can uh, find out if it's the right fit for you. So thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.